Hey guys, welcome back to another modding video for BTD5. As I've said multiple times, what we're going to be doing in this modding tutorial series works for battles and works for BTD Monkey City as well. I'm just making it with BTD5 because it's easier. And I'm going to be doing the entire series with BTD Toolbox. In this video, we're going to learn how to mod the tower files. Let's get started. Go ahead and open up BTD Toolbox. And I'm going to make a new project. BTD5 project, I'm gonna call this Tower, well, let's just call this Mod 1. You can name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. All right, so the project is done being made. This is our Jet Viewer, we can view all the files in here, so I'm just gonna open up this until we get to the good stuff. I'm gonna scroll here to the right a little bit. You can resize these windows if you want at the bottom right corner here. It does look a little bit glitchy, but once you get it in place, you don't have to worry about it. Anyways, let's go to the Tower Definitions file. And I'm gonna open up the Dart Monkey. So here's our Jet Viewer, or sorry, our JSON Editor. You can move it around if you want. I'll resize it down here as well. I am gonna make it so the cost of this bad boy is 999999. But real quick, I wanna show you guys something. If you notice, we have this green thing right here. And when I press backspace one more time, it turns red. It says invalid JSON. If I click go to error, or sorry, if I click this button, It'll take me, or most of the time, it'll take you to where the error is. Sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, but basically, this will keep track if your file has uh, got invalid JSON. So I'm gonna put that back to there. Uh, to use an example, I guess, to show you guys what I just do. I'm gonna like put a F right there. And boom, it just automatically scrolled and, and kind of highlights where the bad crap is. Very useful, helps prevent issues. But I changed the base cost. Let's go ahead and scroll down. I'm gonna change the experience required for all of these to zero. So let's go zero, 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 zero. Rank is gonna be zero, zero. Almost done. Oops, shit, what did I just do? Zero, zero. We're also going to change the upgrade prices to zero. And I suppose that is good. Ah, I think that's good. So what's cool about BTD Toolbox is you can save this in a bunch of different ways. But the easiest way to test your mods is to just press this launch button here at the top or press F5 on your keyboard. So it's building your mod right now. And in just a second, it's going to automatically launch the game. So we're just gonna wait, and it's launching our game. Cool. Much easier than the last tutorial series, damn. If you were with us on the last series, you're starting to see why I waited so long to make the uh, tutorial, because, uh, damn, this is easier. What's all this? I guess they got an event going on. Anyways, I got my Dart Monkey. Um, oh, I gotta change the price. He's kind of expensive. Uh, then we got, as you guys can see, so we got his price changed and his upgrades are changed. And yeah, so that was our mod. And that's the basics on how to edit the tower. In the future, we'll cover it more in detail. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.